Hello everyone. This is Deepti Singh. I am an admissions counselor for Japanese universities. हमने अपने last video में Max scholarship की categories के बारे में बात किया था कि Max scholarship कौन कौन सी categories में available है. इस video में हम ये देखेंगे कि Max scholarship अगर आप embassy recommended Max scholarship के लिए apply करते हैं, तो उस case में प्रोसेस क्या होता है एप्लीकेशन प्रोसेस क्या होता है एंड हाउ यू विल एग्जैक्टली बी प्लेस्ड इन अ यूनिवर्सिटी इन जापान सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो देर आर फाइव स्टेजेस टू योर एप्लीकेशन प्रोसेस वन इज डॉक्यूमेंट सबमिशन एंड स्क्रीनिंग देन इज रिटर्न एग्जाम्स इंक्लूडिंग लैंग्वेज प्रोफिशेंसी एग्जाम्स उसके बाद आपका इंटरव्यू आ जाता है and uh, then there is a second screening, secondary screening by next and final step to your application process would be university placement. This process may uh, we will go through each step in detail. So let's look at the first stage which is document submission and screening. ये जो स्टेज है इसमें obviously first uh, step would be a call from the embassy or the consulate in your country in your home country they will um, announce that the forms of max scholarships are available it is usually done on the embassy website or um, this usually happens around April in every year so you will be applying one year in advance as I have always mentioned so in April you will uh, collect these forms which are online so you will be filling these forms one year in advance to your um, date of enrollment in any university you have to keep in mind that you apply to the embassy or the consulate where you live so it is very important um, because there can be multiple embassies and multiple consulates in your country but you can apply to them where you live so just be aware of that so now there are three documents uh, in general that you have to prepare one is the application form which is available which will be available on the embassy website there is certificate of health there is a recommendation form and there is also one more form which is the fourth form uh, which is called placement preference form which means that you will tell me that you will prefer to university in which university this research will have to do that you will want to do university in which course you want to do and whether or not that course is available in English uh, or your choice of language this research is in your hand you have to do that beforehand and put the choice of your university and your course in the placement uh, preference form so in all actually four forms ho gaye, right this is our documents that we, we need to submit so this is the first step you fill these documents and you submit and these documents are screened after document screening the next stage is written exams so depending on your major whether it is uh, social sciences or science subjects aap kis mein major karna chahte hain uske upar depend karta hai ki aap kaun se exams ke liye appear karenge so um, that information will be available on the website you can check with your consulate which exams you are eligible for another thing you will also have to appear for language proficiency exams English as well as Japanese this is irrespective of your abilities in any of these languages what I mean to say is you can feel that you have done your education in English why should you appear for it but you do need to appear for an English proficiency test अगर आपको जापानीज बिल्कुल भी नहीं आती है आपको ऐसा लग सकता है कि मैंने प्लेसमेंट प्रेफरेंस फॉर्म में सारे इंग्लिश कोर्सेज लिखे हैं जिस यूनिवर्सिटी में इंग्लिश में वो कोर्सेज अवेलेबल है मैंने वो लिखे हैं सो व्हाई डू आई नीड टू अपीयर फॉर जापानीज एग्जाम मुझे जापानीज नहीं आती है बट यू हैव टू अपीयर फॉर जापानीज एग्जाम नेवरदेलेस सो दिस इज द प्रोसीजर मेक्स यूजुअली फॉलोस द थर्ड स्टेज इज द इंटरव्यू स्टेज इंटरव्यू जो होता है मेक्स्ट का इट इज यूजुअली फॉर अबाउट 20 मिनट्स एंड इट इज कंडक्टेड बाय अ पैनल ऑफ 2 टू 5 पीपल मैंने काफी बच्चों से सुना है कि उनका इंटरव्यू काफी इंटिमिडेटिंग सा होता है प्राइमरीली बिकॉज़ 
it focuses on your reasons so some of the major questions that they usually ask is why you chose the major that you have chosen why japan why this university that you have put in your uh, preferences so basically you have to really um, you know think a lot about your reasoning why you're applying to a particular course and what you are expecting during the course of your study also about your future plans what you intend to uh, do after you graduate so all these questions you know um, when they are asked by uh, a panelist uh, they can be a little intimidating but it is not very difficult it is not a very difficult interview and it is not really an academic interview unless uh, they ask you about your research topic that is a possibility so you have to be prepared about that also so once you have passed this primary screening next stage is to contact the universities that you intend to join that you have put in your preference form placement preference form and ask them for a letter of acceptance you can do that you have to get at least one letter of acceptance from any of the universities that you intend to join once you have that letter of acceptance you need to submit it to the embassy jab embassy ke paas ye form aa jata hai uske baad hamara next stage start hota hai which is secondary screening aapka acceptance form aur jo baki documents hain usko next ek bar fir se evaluate karta hai wo ye dekhta hai they double check your application basically including your research topic and they see if your eligibility criteria and your research topic everything is should be in line with um what japan or the ministry of education in japan would expect you to so there are uh, certain topics they may not be okay with um but more or less by the time you are at this stage you are very close to getting uh, finally selected for this scholarship i must tell you that final stage to your application is university placement so when you once your application mix finds out that your application is uh, okay with all the standards and uh, criteria they will contact universities that you have mentioned in your placement preference form and they will request them for a letter of acceptance and this is a formal step uh, obviously you have already done that but uh, the next also they want to formally place you at a university of uh, your choice and next can also choose you know uh, which university they contact first out of the three that you have mentioned that right lies with next basically these are some of the uh, some of the steps that uh, next follows for this scholarship i hope you were able to understand the process and the flow uh, much better now and if you have more queries you can always uh, put questions to me in the comment section and be in touch with me through social media any of my channels through youtube or through instagram like and subscribe this video thank you